What's up, everybody? Welcome to my channel. Welcome to the new subscribers. Welcome back to the old subscribers. I am doing my love readings for February. I'm on the sign of Aquarius. I hope everyone is doing well. This reading will go over a current situation with someone that you're dealing with. And it'll go over some messages from this person to you. Um, some general messages about the situation as well as the possible career that this person is in. And um, some characteristics that they like about you. Remember time is fluid. Energy is fluid. It could go either way. So we'll see what to say for the sign of Aquarius. There's some type of um, connection or maybe vision of family here, Aquarius, um, and how that should appear. And I think that... You know, a lot of us just want there to be a respectful environment, um, one that kind of urges our kids and our family to have hope and believe that our wishes can come true, you know, and that we can complete everything that we put our minds to. Um, but I just feel like there's been a lot of maybe unexpected things. Um, some of you guys are really concerned with um, debts at this time. There's a need to have patience when it comes to the knowledge that you're gonna be gaining about this. You have the moon card. So there's some type of an illusion here around um, maybe the environment that you're in, you know, just not knowing some things that you will be learning along the way. It has a lot to do with healing certain parts of your personality, um, especially when it comes to marriage and, you know, um, a sense of growth and balance and harmony in everything. And along with being a leader comes a lifetime of wisdom. So what I'm seeing for the situation with the person that you're dealing with, um, just overall kind of disconnected with emotions here because you're waiting for something you're waiting for another person to communicate their feelings uh, maybe just not really being satisfied overall with certain things in your life with the nine of swords and the fool card you have a lot of anxiety about starting something about taking that first initiative, taking that step, or this person does, you know, should I send the message? Should I write that letter? Should I um, look at their social media? Um, or is there something about accepting that um, the way you do things is maybe different than what someone else does and that there is a sense of karmic scales here? Um, as well as a need to take our power back in certain instances because there's a level of conflict here and maybe some communication that needs some work. Um, maybe it's finding the harmony in a situation where there's just a lot of unknowns. You know, who are your real friends? Um, can I be optimistic? Um, can I be surprised about maybe how far I've come, how far this has come, you know, but having this peaceful environment because it's important um, that when you love someone that it know that it, there is no limits, that maybe there is no five step plan as to how this is going to end or how it's going to go that the outcome can be anything. Um, with the Seven of Swords and the Emperor, it's a level of kind of running away from the conflict, running away from the things that give us anxiety, the communication, the fighting, the waiting. Um, with the King of Pentacles in reverse and the Page of Swords, it's something about 
a lifestyle, it's something about how someone grew up, it's something where maybe someone runs away from their emotions, maybe someone runs away from things when things get hard, um, because there's a level of being set or fixed in the way that things are done, and I think that some of you guys learned that from whatever father figure that you had, you know, we often repeat what we've seen and it carries over into our own families and our own partnerships. And um, there's a need to have some type of vision about a father, about the mindsets of family and um, the understanding that somewhere deep down you do know what you want and maybe that means traveling moving you know figuring it out and it's just this isn't it you know um some of you guys could have gotten hurt like in a job situation there's some health issues here I want to tell you it probably wasn't an accident. I feel like the universe wants you to spend less time worried about your image and your career and spend more time on taking care of yourself and, um, you know, following your true life purpose. That, you know, life really is about an equal give and take. But at the same time, are we too rigid in how we do things? You know, are we needing to be more independent on our own or letting our kids figure their things out on their own and, you know, um, not really listening to what social media has to say about things. That as long as you have the right person by your side and that connection, um, there's a need to listen to understand and not respond at times. There's a need to transform whatever career and um maybe take a more lighthearted approach to things in life um because uh, it comes out in your expression it comes out in experience it comes out in your intuition and you know a lot of you guys um are kind of isolating yourself from people or this person is and it has a lot to do with kind of like testing the waters in different places but at the same time um kind of learning this expression kind of learning this equal um sense of purpose and um devotion to relationships or your pride some messages from this person Shh. says usually people come to me um, it says I'm going through a breakup it says I probably should have told you I apologize this hurts me and it's your choice be quiet be quiet There's the need to pay attention to your dreams. Um, there's some type of an opinion that you have that is a form of protection. Um, you have community. You have illness. Protection. Are you needing to understand that your life purpose is probably in taking care of the community around you and um, paying more attention. Shh, be quiet to um, a sense of comforting, a sense of like showing people you understand, showing people that um, they're capable um, of getting through things. You have Pisces. You have loyalty, transparent. For the um, spirit animals, you have the manatee, you have the jaguar, the 
the cheetah and the crow. And it's interesting because the manatee is this peaceful kind of, um, be quiet. This peaceful character. Um, and then the jaguar who's really aggressive and just like kind of intimidating. And then the cheetah, um, who needs to kind of um, do split like split decisions, like impulse. And then, you know, um, the crow is all about courage and having a broader mindset. Um, it says, I'm used to being the boss. I call the shots. I know what I want. You have meditation. Spend more time meditating or practicing yoga. You need it. It says, I cannot hold on without you on the side of me. Right now I'm all alone. If you come around, give me something to make me smile. And for possible jobs, you have influencer, a jail or prison guard or CO. You have electrician, research analysis, um, PCA, CNA, um, arms worker and mental health practitioner. You have doctor, you have model. Some things this person likes about you is your conversation skills, your ability to talk about things, um, your swag, the pleasure that comes along with you, um, your laugh, a sense of mystery that you give off, um, your expression. Um, somebody finds you very sexy, they feel like you have a lot of hidden talents. And then that you're able to be a true friend to most people that you come in contact with. Um, the energies that are surrounding you are Gemini, Leo, Leo Scorpio, Taurus. So take that as it resonates. Um, I hope you guys have a good night.